check out a blender test on the Legion 5 Pro. G'day everyone, we're going to be testing the sculpting tool and cycles performance on the Legion 5 Pro. Plus, for those of you who stick to the end, I'll be sharing a couple handy tips to speed up your rendering. Alright, let's get into it. So here we have an ordinary default cube and this amazing backdrop that you can find on Blender's website, it's called Junkyard. optics enabled and as you can see it's almost an instantaneous preview which is light years ahead of the performance I was getting on my MacBook. Without further ado let's go test this sculpting. I'm going to go and subdivide this 100 times. We're going to open up the sculpting tool and we're just going to go to town and as you can see there is absolutely no lag there whatsoever. Happy days! A few of you had made comments that the sculpting tool was going pretty slow and it seems like that issue is more than truly resolved, which is awesome. Ah, there's something so satisfying about taking a smooth face and making it bumpy. That is why I douse my face in chicken fat every night before I go to sleep so that I can turn this smooth baby-like skin into a pimply mess. That's the way I roll. Okay, obviously this is going really smoothly. I'm gonna go ahead and make things more challenging on the computer. This is also running the GeForce Experience in the background to record this screen. So that's gonna be taking some performance away. Let's go ahead, subdivide it again, and let's just start making more adjustments. There we go. Isn't that an absolute work of art? Let's take a look at how many triangles are actually on this block. We've got 2 million triangles or almost there. That's, that's pretty dense. Dense as some of the guys at my high school. I mean, mentally. I didn't put my hands. Not that... Okay. Let's just, let's just move on. Sculpty sculpty scoo. What are you going to turn into? I think that well and truly proves the point that the Legion 5 Pro can handle sculpting like a beast. <laughs> Obviously, this is not going to win any awards at sculpting competition. Thankfully, this video is not about how well I can use the sculpting tool, but how well this tool will work for you if you buy the Legion 5 Pro. And after my experience with it now, I can say that any problems that were caused by the sculpting tool before have resolved. This is getting great performance and I can happily recommend this computer for anybody who wants to get into serious 3D work. If you've come from a MacBook or a lower end PC, this is gonna open up a whole new world for you like hard and soft body physics, water simulations, all that great stuff. So. If you've got any questions about cycles, the sculpting tool, anything to do with Blender, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching everyone. Catch you in the next one. Now, that is just the most gorgeous, immaculate, stunning colanders I have ever seen. I mean, look at that detail and scratch work and indentations. Oh, the, the tips, okay. Um, let's head over to our properties tab and switch to GPU compute. With this one change, we saved ourselves a handsome two minutes and 22 seconds. Next, let's whiz down to the performance tab and change our tile size to 256 and boom, another 25 seconds. Now we can reduce our max bounces. Go and check out Blender Guru on this subject, but we saved ourselves a measly one second. Rubbish. It's usually better than that. Lastly, you can reduce your sample size and select the denoising of your choice. Optics renders quicker but is prone to smearing with animations, so I shall pick Open Image Denoiser. And there you have it. We have a massive saving of 2 minutes and 56 seconds per frame. If you enjoyed this video, please consider commenting, liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the future.
legitness. Yeah, it was.